<laughs> yes, sweet, awesome. Cool, great. So we are back and we are going to reload and break the game. We broke the game. We broke the game! There's no option! How do we do this? We broke the game. Okay, so now we have to... We gotta reload it. Okay. Is there a way to skip through everything in the beginning? Monica says there are no reloads. <laughs> Monica does say that, doesn't she? Alright, let's try a new game. I don't know if it's in the beginning, though. I don't know if they give you that afterwards. Uh... So let's see a ridiculous name we could give. Um Cavity Solitaire, yes. Yes. Ah, cavity swelling. That's all I can put in. I can't put swelling in. <laughs> so it's just cavity swelling. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Cavity swelling, okay. Sure. Why not? Display the human portraits. Yes. Okay. There is! So let's just skip through all this shit. Wow. Nice. God, that's really fast. Okay. Lunch today. It's sl slipping by so quickly. Wait, this is... I can still skip through this. Right? My life is flashing before my eyes. Poor Nageki. All right, I think this time we're going to go for the pretty birdie. <laughs> Nobody's here. See, Nageki never really left. God damn, this is so quick. Okay. So, skip through this. Let's go... Let's join the student council. Alright. Pudding's on. So let's attend... Uh, this time we will attend... Hmm... Let's just go to math class this time. Oh, oh god! What have I done? I skipped through everything. <laughs> I wasn't thinking! Sorry about that! Have you decided which position you will take? I get to choose. Who is there to choose for you, dumb Japanese? Aren't you Japanese too, Sukuya? Do not mock me, I am French. A French noble bird. That sounds delicious. Oh god. <laughs> I guess I have to pick a post now. I think I'll be the... I don't think there's a history button. I'm not sure. I think I'll be the vice president. Uh, yeah, sure. You wish to be my right wing? Ha <laughs> ha! You've got nerve, I like that. I think I just got bonded with. Gosh, he looks pretty happy right now. 
And so I became vice president of the student council. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so let me... What's preferences? Oh, everything's on max, dear god. So let's save to... this. Oh! Tomorrow's the class hike! Da -da 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 -da. Talk to... Sequoia! Unacceptable. In the temper as usual. Why? Why do I have to come to a place like this? And on foot. It's a hike, Sequoia. You have to walk. And for what purpose? As exercise? Foolishness. Exercises for peasants. No, for fun. You're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. I think we did this already. Oh man, we're going after a French lover boy. What should I do? Let's do math class again. <laughs> Maybe you should review the basic swelling. Okay. So there's no history button. Sports festival. So. Today's the sports festival. Go to the cheerleaders. There's something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. I see a sequoia and a brass band? That's overdoing it. I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. You're here! You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from a label. Sir, preparations are complete, sir. Your order, sir. Very well. Begin. And so the band began to play. <laughs> Where did he get these people? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You! Join in! Um, okay. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. One wrong slip and I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes. Sequoia's conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the LaBelle style? Oh boy. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. Sweating! You worked hard. Yay! The assholery adds to his charm. There's Yuya! <laughs> Salutations, Cavity! <laughs> okay, gotta hurry back to class. Hello, every bur- Huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. Rock doves under wings and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. I mean, wait, what's going on? O Okasan and Sequoia are... I look up to see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened, Ryota? Sequoia was making fun of Okasan. He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding, and he said he was ashamed to be in the same class. That's terrible. I mean, Okasan is a nutcase, but I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Either way, Okasan kind of went for the jugular and you tried to pull him apart and Okasan used wing attack on you. Y yup. You're only hope now, Cavity. Heck chick 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 I don't know what that is. I, I cannot make pigeon noise. Okasan will not allow Pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take my to take back my word? I shall not. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Okasan is not a mongrel. The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should... Save. <laughs> Preferably. Uh, side with Sequoia. Okasan, settle down. This is a classroom. This is a matter between doves. Stay out of a cavity. You are a credit to your simian industry 
ancestry swelling. I respect your judgment. Coo! I catch Okasan and throw him out the window. <laughs> I just threw my classmate out the window. What the fuck? Just because you're angry doesn't mean you can make a mess. Come back in when you're prepared to be civilized. Wow. I just scolded him real bad. Sorry, Okasan. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do. Let's go to the... Can I go to the infirmary? Perhaps. Let's try it. You again, or are you ill? I came here to skip class. Want to skip class? Get out. Like, no! <laughs> what should I do for elective? Uh, let's do more math class. Oh man. Nobody likes math class. Not even people good in math like math class. It's boring. Tanabata! Oh, that's that's the front that's the uh, sequoias I should wish for I want to become a famous artist oh hello is that you sweating uh no thank you Another day of math class. Why not? How will integral calculus help us in life? Hard to say. It might never help you at all, swelling. But only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as an educational candy. Integral calculus is educational candy? I'm not prepared to accept this. Why is my charisma going up? Like... Insanely compared to my wisdom. That is just so weird. Is it because we're not absorbing math very well? Okay. Oh shit! I keep skipping through shit. God damn it! Next, inside the cupboard, arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor, polish it at least three times. And the window... Hold on, are you telling me to do that all by myself? Who else is there? You bonehead. Maybe I should stand up to him? You help too. Sequoia, I'm the vice president, not the charwoman? Chairwoman? Is that so? My job is to help you, so maybe you should be taking the lead role in cleaning up? That's why I'm giving you orders. No, jeez, that's not what I... Here's a mop. Work. I... You... What? You know how to use it, right? Let's get started. Don't tell me you've never. Of course not. Talk about living in the lap of luxury. And so Sequoia reluctantly helped me clean. I thought he might complain for a while, but he certainly can be obedient. Now then, the sooner we finish, the sooner we can get to go home. I keep skipping through it because I don't know where the parts are that I've never seen, and... Meanwhile, as I live in a cave... Aw, oh, man, I wish I could skip all that. But they're like, no, you're gonna look at all this beautiful artwork we did, which is pretty beautiful, honestly, but... Okay, now I can skip through this. Let's 
still have a lot of homework. Forget it. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Wee! I love the, the wee at the end. Let's go with Sequoia! Oh man, choose an option. God damn it. Not this time. Not this time. Sequoia, over here! You've got nerve to call me out during vacation. What is it? Oh, right. You just moved here, so you wouldn't have known. Today's the festival. Let's go together. Festival? What's that? You'll understand when you see it. Come on. What? What in the... Shops! Food! Good fun all around! People can't possibly be eating food prepared like this. It's... It's unsanitary! It's madness! Don't worry. There haven't been any reports of food poisoning for two years! <laughs> two years! So there were reports three years ago? Yep! Guiding the panic-stricken Sequoia around the festival is a little troublesome, but hilarious nonetheless. And so the night wears on. Huh? When did you buy that candy apple, Sequoia? They had an interesting color, so I thought I would buy one. I'm not going to eat it. I shall take it home and mount... and mount in a case. What the fuck? <laughs> two years. Just two years. And we're late for school, and it's not really school. It's okay, though. Okay. We're going to... Help, Mr. Nanaki. You will? Thank you. I'll go make us some tea. And so I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. This tea is very good. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. Nice. Um, good morning, everyone. Hope you had fun over the summer. Fun was going to the festival with me, you dick. Okay. Second turn, done. Okay. Student ID. Someone's ID. I should attend more math class. Because <laughs> I'm late. I can just barely keep up even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sequoia? Wow. Are you trying to curry flavor with me? Hmm. Looks happy though. Sweet. Getting closer! I'm looking at some new formulas next time, so try to read ahead, okay? Hmm. The lassitude of Japan's educational system never ceases to amaze me. You don't like Mr. Nanaki's classes, Sakuya? What do you think? And I'm not just talking about the math. Not only is attendance at the school mandatory, but everything it covers is infantile. It bores me to yawning. Hey, at least Mr. Nanaki won't chew you out for snoozing in class, right? I don't think that's the issue here, Ryota. Look at Okasan. He conked out as soon as we took attendance. Kuz. Exactly. These pathetic teaching practices destroy the student's motivation and interest. No wonder no birdie takes school seriously. But isn't Mr. Nanaki a big name in science? I mean, I'm not really that well informed, but... I don't think it's very nice to go around piddling on him, Sequoia. We know his capabilities as a teacher quite well, Swelling. Do you mean to say that we should respect and obey him simply because he's a teacher? His fame is merely on the national level anyway. The only world-renowned professor here would be Dr. Awami. Awami? 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 <laughs> eh? The doctor that is... Is that well known? I never heard about that. It is Okasan's pudding. <laughs> I'm surrounded by ignoramuses and fools. 
He is a world authority on pathology. His name is known the world over. Anyway, Nanaki does not even come close. I never knew the doctor was that famous. But then, why is he working as a doctor for a high school, even if it is a prestigious one? That is a good question. Oh, here's, here's the, the fight. Oh, it's not the fight. I'm sorry. That's the, uh, the molting. And he fell asleep in the bleach. Okay. School festival. I think Sequoia is free today too, isn't he? Maybe I should invite him along. Invite him. Sequoia, do you need something? You're free today, right? Want to go look at Two Force Haunted House? Haunted House? A waste of time. Nothing but a foolish charade of commoners, by commoners, and for commoners. How do you know if you don't go? And besides, isn't keeping an eye on the masses part of a noble bird's job? Er, I suppose it might have some value. Since I have no other pressing matters to which I must attend, I shall accompany you. What is this madness? A haunted mansion. What on earth is that? Will we be attacked by hostile ninjas? No, that would be a ninja mansion. But my nurse told me that any mansion is bound to have ninjas lying in wait inside. It's like a tiny theme park with a ghost theme, hence haunted. How foolish. No doubt it has, always, it has nothing but tricks to scare mere children. We shall enter. Oh, hey, wait. What trickery is this? I, I, I can't see. Why is it dark in here? Oh, right. You can't see in the dark, can you? Ah, I stepped on something nasty. N no, stop. Unhand me. Ah, I. Sequoia, calm down. No, you're not supposed to kick the poor ghosts. Let me go. Oh, boy. <sighs> Never seen him this worked up before. Anyway, I'm glad he enjoyed it. I think. That was pretty funny, honestly. I'm glad I got to unlock that. I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Awami. Awamine. 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 I hadn't expected to see him together. Da, 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 da. We already saw this. I'll side with Shu because Seco Se uh, Sequoia likes him. You should look more closely, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Swelling. Even the students disrespect you? Pathetic. Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher? Like pupil? Music class was fun. Sequoia is standing in the music room, staring at the instrument rack. What's wrong, Sequoia? What do you think of the arts, Miss Swelling? The arts? Where did that come from? Surely one such as yourself has an opinion of some kind. What do you think of the arts? Um, well, I'm not really sure it's something I could put into words just like that. Dis... Dostoevsky once said that an artist is a man who turns his ear inwards and writes down with zeal what he hears. Such a common idea. He looks angst-ridden. Wonder if something happened. What? Yay, ninjas. Done with cleaning, time to go home. Hmm? I hear somebody playing the piano in the music room at the end of the hall. Who? I think I'll... Go look. I can see somebody sitting at the piano through the door. I recognize him. It's Sequoia. Uh-oh. How long have you been there? Were you spying on me? How unpleasant. No, I just came over here. It sounded beautiful. 
I never knew you could play. I'm amazed you could practice and still study enough to get such good grades, Sakuya. Of course. A noble must be versed in all fields, though I doubt one such as you can understand the art. Sounded wonderful. Humph. <laughs> oh, I'm distracting you. Sorry. I'll go now, so don't mind me. Swelling. Huh? What do you love? Why this all of a sudden? Tell me. Hmm. Udon, I guess. Udon, truly? Yep, I eat every day. I see, I see. Thank you. Okay, bye, Sequoia. And so I left him sitting deep in thought. What was that all about? Oh, is he gonna get me udon? Some udon noodles? Some udon soup? We get our finals back today! Swelling! You ranked top of the year this time! Well done! Wh what? She beat you by two points, Shiragani. Oh well. Wow! Grrr! Sukui is glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! Sukuya is so fucking angry. It's winter break. The year's almost over. For some reason, that makes me sad. Oh, I got a letter and a fancy envelope. Who's it from? We are holding a Christmas party at the LaBelle Mansion on the 24th of this month. You are invited. Be honored. Sukuya LaBelle Shiragani. Woo! Ooh, been invited to a Christmas party. <laughs> Yay, I got a heartwarming invitation. My family's Buddhist, so I hadn't had anything planned. I might as well go, right? I think I'll go to the party. I love how despite religion, we still go. It, it just, it's, it's nice. Whoa, it's like a palace! Ho ho ho! What do you think, Swelling? Normally a commoner such as yourself would never set foot in here. I it's amazing, Sakuya. This whole thing is far removed from my own uncultured Stone Age lifestyle. I feel a little nervous. Do you have a party like this every year? Every year? Don't be foolish. We have one every month. Creating a habitat for social discourse is a noble's duty, after all. That seems a little tiresome. Are you feeling overwhelmed already? Poor foolish comma. Uh-oh. That's... This establishment lacks pudding. Uh-oh. Oko, you dog. Why are you here? I never invited you. Okasan sensed a feast and came in through the window, but there is no pudding. Uh-oh. I wouldn't give you any even if I had some. Confound you, you genetic throwback. Uh-oh. Okasan's going to go berserk at this rate. I think I should. Stop him. Okasan, inside voice. Well done, swelling. Now throw him outside. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> I am grateful to you, swelling. Now we can have our party in peace. No need to thank me. I would hire you as a bodyguard if I ever- if- I would hire you as a bodyguard if you ever so desired. Um... Okay then. <laughs> like Cinderella, except no fancy dress, or shoes, or, <laughs> or anything. <laughs> no mice, <laughs> no evil stepsisters, nothing. The sun, its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. All right, let's go visit the shrine. The boy does have insults. Let's go get an amulet. I want one for fulfillment and art. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, I got Berkey's Blessing. Aw, or is it Borky's Blessing? Wait, isn't that... Sequoia! Oh, it's you! What are you doing here? I hadn't thought you were the type. 
I'm here to observe. I may one day be ruling this country, so there is no harm in familiarizing myself with the customs of the masses. That aside, I'd heard the rumors, but this place is a battlefield. Some lunatic almost killed me throwing coins earlier. Oh, right. You don't get out too often. Those are offerings. They... Yes, I'm aware. The custom was created by a secret policeman during the Edo period, I believe. I never knew. I understand that the coins thrown by this policeman also inspired the shuriken later used by ninja all across the country. To begin the year by testing each other's reflexes and deadly monetary skirmishes, Japan truly is a brutal country. He gazes with mixed admiration and fear at the donations falling into the shrine box. Correcting him would be a pain, so I think I'd leave it at that. <laughs> oh. Happy New Year, everybody hibernated. Trying not to skip through important stuff. Trying to just get through this part. Okay. Oh, we gotta go get him some beans. So, the bean medleys for racers. The racing blend, because they're more expensive. They're like the high kind of beans, so we want to give those to the Sequoia. Alright, Sequoia! I am busy. May I ask you not to waste too much of my time? This will only take a minute. I have something for you. Here. What are these? It's a pricey blend of beans. I know you like expensive things. That's not what I meant. Why are you giving me beans? It's Lugemtines. Lu Lu Lugemtines. And what is that? What planet are you from, anyway? It's a holiday where girls are supposed to give beans to the boys they like. W what? Don't look so disturbed. Jeez, I gave you those. Will you accept them, Sequoia? Hmm. These beans seem somewhat cheap for their illustration, for the illustrious recipient, but since you ask it, I will not refuse them. Really? Yay! What did you mean by like? I am asking what you meant by the boys they like. Um, exactly what I said. No matter what I'm doing or where I am, your beautiful plumage always comes to mind, Sequoia. Um, anyway, here. I hope we can continue to get along. Indeed. He glances at the beans and at me, and then wordlessly leaves. I'm glad he liked them. He did like them, right? <laughs> he isn't just gonna, like, walk right outside the door and throw them in the garbage can, right? Maybe the wind's stronger? I'm starting to think I should build a wall or maybe take myself a new bedroom. With this kind of weather, some birds are even collapsing in the street. Hey, wait. Isn't that one Sequoia? S Sequoia, what's wrong? D don't ask for the details. Just carry me to your miserable abode, I beg of you. Uh-oh. Wandering around and collapsing in the street in this time of night doesn't seem like customary practice for an aristocrat. Aristocrat, sorry. What's happened, Sequoia? Don't tell me your family has fallen from high society. What happened? I shall not say. Eh? What were you doing wandering around the wilderness, then? I was not wandering. I was on my way here. Be honored. Oh, so it isn't a coincidence after all. Did you want something from me then? No, don't flatter yourself. Eh. Um, should we call your family or something? No. He looks really angry. Listen, don't. You dare. Don't you dare call my house. Sequoia, did you run away from home? That sounds bad. No, I simply left of my own violation. Um, isn't that the same thing? Yep. <laughs> what happened, Sequoia? Swelling, do you remember when we talked in the music room at school last fall? Yes, what about it? Do you remember what I asked you then? You asked me what? I loved. You asked me what I loved. That's right. And you gave a simple, honest answer right away. And that, that, that made me jealous. Aww. Did I mishear? That's the last thing I'd have expected from him, of all people. 
He's not a people! He's a bird! <laughs> I don't understand, Sequoia. Why? I... I'm one of the few of the pure bloodline. I am ranked higher than any of my siblings. I have been slated to become the next family head since birth. There is no reason I shouldn't be. But... You don't want to take your father's place. H how did you know that? It's obvious. It's written all over your face. I love music, but my father does not approve. When I was young, I owned a number of instruments, but he had them all thrown away. Art is not our realm. The joy of creation is the domain of peasants. Our role is to be patrons and promoters of the artists we admire, not to be artists ourselves. A noble who, sow who sows his own wheat is a sows his own wheat as a fool. That's not true. I think anyone who can play music should be encouraged, no matter who their parents are. That is because you think what a, with a peasant's values, my world is different from yours. I'm not talking about what peasants think. I'm talking about what I think. What about you, Sequoia? What do you think? What do I think? You speak in riddles. I carry the name of Labelle. To play it applying my own standards and ideas to the world would be a disgrace. But didn't you just say you left the mansion of your own accord? Isn't that applying your own idea to the world? Hmm. You've contradicted yourself. What do you want to do in life, Sequoia? I must succeed my father as the next family head. No, jeez, that's not what I meant. What if you could forget about the LaBelle family and do anything in the world? What would you do then? Forget about the LaBelle family? What mockery is this? We're speaking hypothetically, dummy. If I could do anything in the world, I would continue studying music. I would like to see how far I could go as a musician. He sounds unchar uncharacteristically modest. I was half expecting him to give some rambling speech about how he would unite the world and become king or something. You love music, don't you? If I could hear you play the piano again, I would be very happy, Sequoia. I think you've answered your own question. Answered my own question? Don't be ridiculous. This is a mere fantasy. It has no connection to reality. Have you told your father that you want to continue studying music? Don't be ridiculous. How could I lower myself so? So, you haven't even asked him about it. You wouldn't be lowering yourself, Sequoia. Are you ashamed to love music? Hmm. You should ask him. It's worth a try, right? Perhaps you are right. I suppose I never would have thought of that if I hadn't talked to you. You were confused about what you wanted, Sequoia. I just gave you a little push. Swelling. Yes? I'm going to speak with him when I return. If he refuses, would... Would you carry my fallen body to safety one more time? Are you planning to run away for real next time? If it comes to that. I will follow you anywhere you need to go, Sequoia. You will always have a safe place here, okay? I shall return to you. Thank you, Swelling. <laughs> It's it's such like a romantic storyline, and my name is Swelling. It just destroys everything. And so he set out across the wilderness once more. I don't know if his father will accept him, or if he really will run away, but I know he will come back to me, and I pray that our future will be a happy one. Aww. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe his father was like a pimp. And just like... Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw that, but... I got attacked by Ren. Ren just decided to fall off my computer and like... Attack me. Because D.Va fell. Because D.Va's not staying up anymore for some reason. And I don't know why. And now Ren's not staying up anymore. There we go. Better. <laughs> I was gonna say 32 endings? Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh oh. Well, there we go. Ending number two, Into the Night. 
I thought it like froze up on me for a second. Into the night. Who is this? I've been feeling better since that nosy girl 